We've looked through various sources, world trends, recruitment reports, and government data, and built a list of the most in-demand and highest paid professions in Canada. So let's go! Special thank you to Passage for sponsoring a segment of this video. Only 40% of Canadians today are able to access their medical records electronically. And looking at this graph, there is lots of work ahead. Quebec has an even longer way to go. As we combat the healthcare crisis, the demand in digitalization and healthcare technology innovation will become critical in this country. It will help shift the focus of healthcare professionals away from the tedious and time-consuming and error-prone tasks towards automation so that doctors and nurses can focus on highest impact activities and finally stop messing up your health records. Remote diagnostics and monitoring or telehealth point-of-care testing, wearable technologies, and even AI and virtual reality will be only made possible by health information technology specialists. To make this all happen, we need specialists who are knowledgeable about storing, organizing, analyzing, and communicating medical data between the different actors involved in the healthcare industry. This country still doesn't have a centralized electronic health record system, so there is a lot of work to be done to bring all the data under one roof. This role is a perfect hybrid for someone passionate about and knowledgeable about technology and healthcare. To enter this field, individuals typically need a certificate or diploma in health information management, which takes between one and two years. Here are some of the roles in this field. This career not only offers good job security, but is also filled with meaning, potentially saving lives. So naturally, income is relatively competitive, with salaries between $67,000 up to $94,000, with some reaching up to $150K. You probably know that we have a skilled trades shortage in Canada, but what you likely don't know is that electricians accounted for nearly 70% of all unfilled skilled trades roles last year. Just Hamilton Niagara region alone has faced a shortage of nearly 23,000 electricians in both residential and commercial sectors. Electricians don't just play a crucial role in both new construction and renovation of existing projects, but they're also key to helping Canada create a greener, more environmentally friendly future, which is a big strategic focus of the government. Electricians make sure that our light at home turns on and that we can watch YouTube in the comfort of our warm or air-conditioned home. And if anything goes wrong, their job is to make sure that the problem doesn't burn down our homes. To enter this field, aspiring electricians typically need to complete a one or two year study and enter an apprenticeship program. The full apprenticeship usually lasts for about four years and combines both theory and on-the-job training, during which candidates accumulate a minimum of 8,000 hours of work experience, paid work experience. Electricians can work in various roles and in different projects, such as residential electrician, industrial electrician, or electrical maintenance technician. This profession has both job security and good salaries, with earnings averaging around $70,000 up to $100,000, and some experienced professionals can make up to $150K. Shedding more light on opportunities like this are critical for Canada's future, especially in the current state of affairs. This is where the work Passage is doing becomes crucial. Their mission is to help tackle labor shortages in Canada, so they team up with schools like George Brown College to offer education funding for talented people whether you're already here or coming from abroad. Passage has a great mission – to help you build a meaningful career no matter your financial situation. They want to make it easier for you to get the education you need, build the career you want, and along the way help us all build a better future in Canada by filling the labor shortages. Check out Passage website to see what programs they have available and see if you qualify for funding. They have several programs still open for the winter and spring 2025 intake, so don't wait too long to take the next step in your career. You can find all the program details and apply for funding right on the Passage portal. You can visit passage.com forward slash make that change to start your new chapter. And in the meantime, hear me out, this country is in dire need of nurses. I'll be honest with you, it's probably the hardest job on this list today. Nurses are crucial to Canada's survival, but their job is so hard, specifically because there is a nursing shortage. 
pharmacists to a lesser extent are part of the shortages too. In recent years, nurse practitioners' scope of work and responsibilities have increased, allowing them to prescribe certain medications and communicate diagnosis, which was not the case just a few years ago. With these increased levels of immigration and aging population, the demand for nurse practitioners is expected to grow significantly, with projections showing an increase of 53% in job opportunities for this profession by 2031. Practical nursing programs start at two years and up to four or even five years depending on the specialization and level of responsibility you want to have. This profession has the biggest job security on our list, with literally everyone landing a job within the first few months of graduation. Current average salaries for nurses hover around 100 to 120k annual. Okay, shifting gears from human science to the natural science. Nearly 10% of Canada's GDP comes directly from minerals, mining and oil and gas. This country ranks first in potash, second in uranium and third in palladium extraction. And as we live through the AI revolution, something needs to power all the computations happening along the way. Whether that's fossil fuels or innovative green energy solutions, harvesting the resources this planet has to offer will remain a priority, whether we like it or not. Piping designers, construction engineers and miners and other experts are needed to ensure that extraction, processing and refining operate smoothly and efficiently. Mechanical engineers and piping designers, for example, play essential roles in designing systems that safely and efficiently transport oil, gas and minerals. Miners and on-site technicians are crucial for the actual extraction process, making sure resources are efficiently recovered with minimal environmental impact. Working in this field requires specific training that can take anywhere between one to four years. There are some technician programs that can help you start your career in just one year, but the real career starts with two years of training and upskilling. Some professions, like miners, often begin with specialized vocational training programs or apprenticeships. It's important to highlight, though, that some professions will require you to relocate to specific and more remote regions of the country. The upside of that is that the compensation usually reflects the compromises you have to make. Mechanical engineers and construction engineers can expect to earn between $80,000 to $120,000 per year, with senior professionals often making well over $150K. And this is how much piping designers and miners can make. Many roles in these industries come with additional perks, like performance bonuses, housing allowances, or fly-in, fly-out work options. Speaking of artificial intelligence, it is simply impossible to ignore. Job postings for AI-related positions are growing 3.5 times faster than any other jobs combined. In Canada, investments in AI are unprecedented. Over 600 AI startups are currently operating in the country, and Canada currently ranks number one in artificial intelligence research, with the biggest hubs in Montreal, Kitchener-Waterloo region, and Toronto. Every single company tries not to miss out on this boom. So hiring for AI is happening everywhere, from airlines to consumer packaged goods to healthcare. As someone who's been working in the AI field since 2014, I'll say this, AI and machine learning is really, really hard and time consuming. Every day you're creating something that's never been done before. So the barrier for entry into AI and machine learning is high too. But once you're there, the possibilities are endless. There are various ways to enter the field. Taking up a master's degree in AI could be a great way to enhance any of the bachelor degrees that you already have, from engineering to marketing or business. It's best to already have either data analytics, computer science, or mathematics background. The roles within this profession are diverse too, ranging from data scientists and machine learning specialists to AI researchers and developers. Salaries in AI and machine learning are also impressive. They start at 100K and the sky's the limit, really. This profession not only offers high job security, but also the opportunity to work on groundbreaking technologies that will change how we live and work. Here is another field that is currently experiencing shortages. When there is not enough people to do ungrateful low-paid jobs, robots step in. And robots are only made possible by robotics and mechanical engineers. And while Canada isn't that quick to adopt automation at scale, it only ranks 15th in industrial robotics adoption, the biggest industry seeing the robotics adoption is automotive manufacturing. 
And the biggest reason stated for why automation adoption is not growing faster than that is difficulty in recruiting qualified staff. From food manufacturing to transportation and plastics, robotics professionals are the driving force behind making our world more efficient and making our jobs less tedious and dangerous. Professions like mechanical and robotics engineers will be critical in helping Canada improve its crippled productivity. Consider moving to Waterloo and Kitchener, since they are the largest robotics and automation cluster in Canada. We are making a video about Waterloo and Kitchener area, which will be released soon. So subscribe to this channel not to miss it. To enter this field, you typically need a diploma or a certificate in mechanical engineering robotics or a related field followed by certification from a provincial or territorial association. Some roles, especially in robotics, may require additional experience in AI or computer programming. A mechanical engineer's average income is closer to $100,000, and robotics engineers typically earn even more, closer to 130k with a couple of years of experience behind their belt. You've surely noticed that a good deal of these professions we've talked about so far is one way or another technology related. And where there's technology, there's a risk of cyber threats. According to a 2022 report, 7 out of 10 Canadians experienced a cybersecurity accident that year. There is not a more updated data on this, but something tells me that things got even worse these days. That's where cybersecurity becomes core to any technology company's strategy, from keeping your personal data safe to protecting sensitive corporate information and making sure that those AI robots do exactly what we want them to do. At the end of the day, we all are fed up with those spam calls and scam job offers. Today, there is a shortage of nearly 25,000 cybersecurity professionals, and that number will only grow with more AI and robotics advancements. Entering the cybersecurity field typically requires a background in computer science or IT, and many roles demand specific certifications such as Certified Information Systems Security Professional or Certified Ethical Hacker. Roles in cybersecurity are diverse, including positions like cybersecurity analyst, penetration tester, and cybersecurity engineer. Salaries in the cybersecurity sector are really competitive, starting at 75,000 and up, depending on the experience and the specifics of your role. When both of us looked at what professions to take on, we've looked deeply into world trends and made decisions on a good combination of our interests, things we are good at, and trends for the future. That's how I ended up in natural resource engineering. And I ended up in product management and AI. The path in these careers wasn't easy, but it's the most difficult thing in life that brings you the biggest rewards. When the need for your expertise is high, the employers will care less about where you come from or whether your English is 10 out of 10. They will focus on what you can do and how much you can help them achieve their goals. The path to start your career in any of the professions that we've mentioned here starts with just taking a year or two year certificate. But the path to excellence may just last your lifetime if you love what you do. Which profession did we miss in this list? Let us know what you decide to pursue. We love learning stories. And don't forget to check out Passage for available programs for the most in-demand professions and see if you qualify for funding. You can find the links below this video. Thank you to our patrons and YouTube members for supporting our channel. We will see you in the next one. Take care.